All right, guys, welcome back to Green Tide 40K. Today we are keeping it real because I am in my vehicle doing real life stuff. And you know what? I got a little bit of time. So today, let's talk about a war boss. He's got a movement 5, weapon skill 2, ballistic skill 5, strength 6, tough 5, 6 wounds, which is nice, 4 attacks, leadership 8, and a 4-up save. Now, we'll get into how to hopefully help the 4-up save later on, because he can be taken down fairly easily, unfortunately. A war boss is a single model with a combi weapon with rocket launcher, power claw, 2 sluggers, and a stick bomb. Now you have a different uh, variety of combi weapons to choose from, but being mainly melee focused, I'm going to focus just mostly on that there. Now you have the option of either a big chopper for plus two to your strength, which gets you strength eight, minus one AP, and two damage. Now I like the big chopper. At strength eight, it actually does a decent amount of damage depending on who you're coming up against. Anything that's strength 7 or less, you're going to be wounding on a 3. And that's pretty okay in my book. Now, the Power Claw coming in at times 2 your strength. So, strength 10, minus 3 AP, and the D3 wounds. This is a very powerful weapon. But you must subtract 1 from the hit roll when using Power Claws. The D3 damage isn't as consistent as, say, the Big Choppa. The flat 2 on the Big Choppa I quite like because of just consistency and reliability. The Power Claw has the potential to do far more damage and wound much easier. So they're both very good options and I recommend running them both. Now let's make one of those Warlords, or War Bosses, sorry, your Warlord. And the trait I would highly recommend here is Brutal But Cunning. This orc has a particular talent for close quarters chopper work, even amongst his brutal kin. You can re-roll hit rolls in the fight phase for attacks made by your warlord. In addition, add one to the damage characteristic of your warlord's melee weapons if, in the same turn, they finished a charge move, were charged, or performed a heroic intervention. So that means that if you're taking the power claw, you're going to be getting D3 plus 1 wounds every time or the uh, big choppa you're going to be getting three damage every time so you're going to be throwing out a pile of wounds and you're probably going to be doing a ton of damage on whatever you're doing because they're not going to be able to make all those saves all right so now let's boost your war boss even more let's take a look at the shiny gubbins if you're going to be taking the big choppa Let's take a look at Head Wapas Kill Choppa. Model with Big Choppa only. Head Wapas Kill Choppa replaces the bear as Big Choppa and has the following profile. Melee, tight melee, plus 2 strength, there's still strength 8 with this weapon, minus 2 AP, and 2 damage. So you're getting an extra AP out of it, but... Wound rolls of 6 made for this weapon inflict 2 mortal wounds instead of any other damage. So this is a really good one to take. I like it a lot. Um, the shiny, extra shiny gubbin stratagem is where this one comes in for me. I am completely willing to spend 1 command point to give this to a second war boss if that's how I'm running. But now let's look at the main event. To kill a claw. Model with Power Claw only. To kill a claw replaces the bearer's Power Claw. It has the following profile. Range melee type melee, of course. Times 2 strength. Minus 3 AP, flat 3 damage. You can re-roll wound rolls for attacks made with this weapon. So if you're running to kill a claw with Brutal But Cunning, you are going to be re-rolling everything. And then you're also going to be getting, if you charge or were charged, an additional AP and additional damage. 
So you're going to be having minus 4 AP and 4 flat damage. So you're going to... Tanks are going to fall. You're going to be able to chop a knight way down in wounds. This is a very powerful way to run your boss. Now, keeping the war boss alive, on the other hand, is a bit of a challenge. And that's where your pain boy comes in. Now, with the Pain Boy, we're all fairly familiar with how he works. But real quick, on his Sawbones ability, if you're trying to heal your war boss and you roll a 1, he's going to take another wound. Now, if he's down to his last wound or two and you don't want to take that risk, take a look at the Medisquig Stratagem. It'll cost you one command point, but it is very much worth it. It says, use this stratagem at the end of your movement phase. Select a clan character from your army that is within three inches of a friendly pain boy. The model immediately regains D3 lost wounds. So it will cost you a command point, but it could save your warlord and get him to fight one more time. So now that we've kept our war boss alive with our pain boy, Let's see what we can do during the Psychic Phase to boost him a little bit more. Now, you're going to want to take a Warped. This will cost you Command Point at the beginning of the game. But if you only have one Weird Boy, definitely, definitely use a Warped. Now, first you're going to want to cast Fist of Gork. Fist of Gork has a Warp Charge value of 6. If manifested, select a friendly Orc character model that is with visible within 12 inches of the Psyker. Add 2 to the model's strength characteristics and attack characteristics until the start of your next Psychic phase. So that's going to boost your Kill a Claw hugely. You're going to be getting 6 attacks now from your War Boss, and he starts off at Strength 6, so he's now Strength 8. Times 2 is Strength 16, so you're going to be wounding Strength 8 vehicles on a 2, re-rolling everything. And if you charge, or have been charged, you're going to get minus 4 AP, and 4 flat damage. But before you attack, you're going to want to cast Warpath on him as well to get an additional attack. So that's 7 attacks. And you have the potential to completely destroy anything. Absolutely anything you want. Keep your war boss, a warped, a pain boy, and preferably a couple squads of boys nearby, and you're going to be able to go in to anything in combat and pretty much rule the day. Have fun, guys. I hope you try it out. If you have any comments or suggestions, let me know, and I will see you in the next video.